way to make money online is by writing and publishing your own ebook. In this module, we will discuss the steps to become a self-published author on Kindle and how to make money on Kindle publishing. It's never been easier to publish a book. The internet has revolutionized traditional book publishing and made it more accessible and simpler for authors, writers, or anyone who can string words together to produce their work and distribute them. Currently, there are several ways to publish your book and earn a profit from them. However, one service stands out for plenty of reasons. Amazon Kindle Publishing. So what is Amazon Kindle? Amazon is one of the largest e-commerce retailers in the US. Aside from selling general merchandise, they have a series of ebook readers called Amazon Kindle. These ebook readers, or simply e-readers, allow users to read ebooks and other documents as well as browse, buy, and download them from their ebook marketplace called the Kindle Store. Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing, KDP, is Amazon's in-house publishing platform used by authors and publishers to publish their books directly to Kindle e-readers. Write your ebook, upload it to their platform along with their requirements, and your book will be available on the Kindle Store in a couple of days. Amazon customers can browse the Kindle Store for ebooks that they're interested in either through the Amazon website on their browsers or through their Kindle devices. They can then buy the ebooks that they wish and download them on their devices right away. Amazon KDP isn't the only publishing service that you can use to publish your ebook, but here are some good reasons why you should go with KDP. As mentioned earlier, Amazon is the largest online realtor in the US. As such, it gets hundreds of millions of visitors in a day. Sure, you can sell your ebook on your website or blog, but if you sell on Amazon, you're potentially exposing your ebook to millions of people every month. That's a lot of people, and chances are your target audience will be there, browsing the titles and eventually finding their way to your ebook. As you will see later in this article, once you have your complete, correctly formatted ebook, the steps to be published on Amazon are pretty straightforward. No need to pitch your book idea, no need to write any proposals. You don't even need to be a professional author or a previously published one to get started with Kindle publishing. Anyone, including you, can write an ebook and publish it through this platform. The process is pretty uncomplicated, but there are many times that you will get stuck, or at least become unsure about whether a chapter is within Amazon guidelines or not. You shouldn't get stuck for too long. From in-house resources to numerous other websites, putting out guides and webinars, help and resources certainly aren't lacking. You get to decide how much you want to sell your ebook for. And in effect, you get to decide how much you profit from it. There's no excuse to overcharge or undercharge. Make sure the price closely matches the value and that it strikes a balance between what people are willing to pay for and the kind of compensation that you deserve for the value that it gives to their lives. When you publish your KDP, you give them the right to sell and distribute your ebook, but you still own it. You can choose to unpublish your ebook at any time, and within a few days' grace period, Amazon will take it off their virtual shelves. Keeping costs down is important to a lot of beginners, and because publishing through KDP is free, this keeps your overhead costs down. This doesn't mean it's all free. You'll probably have to hire a proofreader and editor to polish your ebook and make sure it's ready for publishing. Plus, if you're not a designer, you'll likely have to commission a graphic artist to design and create your book cover. But these costs are one-time expenses, and it's not very difficult to find competent freelancers on Fiverr or other similar sites. If you're now convinced that Kindle publishing is for you, here are the basic steps to get your ebook published. Hopefully you already have a frequently updated blog that's in a niche with a targeted audience. Ideally, you'll be writing an ebook about the same topic as well. If you haven't started a blog, you need to start researching for the niche you're going to write for before you even start with your ebook. First, consider your expertise. What are you good at? What topic or topics do you feel confident that you can teach someone else? Next, look through the ebook categories located on the sidebar and see what category and subcategories your niche falls under. Look over the ebooks under the category and subcategory and assess if the ebook that you plan on writing will fit with these ebooks. While you're there, also check how many reviews the other ebooks have, which can be found immediately below the title and author information. This gives you an idea of how popular an ebook is. 
You can also check their overall rankings on the Kindle Store, as well as their rankings for their particular category and subcategories. You can see this information in the Product Details section. As you can see above, this particular ebook ranks as number 18,187 in the whole Kindle Store, which isn't bad considering there are millions of ebooks in the Kindle Store catalog. It also ranks as number one in three wildly different subcategories including eating disorders, buildings and construction, and shopping. This is probably because this ebook is about setting and sticking to a home budget, which includes spending for food, home renovations, and shopping. It is not unusual to see this kind of variation, but bear in mind that you still should pay deliberate attention when choosing your category and subcategories so that your ebook is likely to be found by your target audience. Doing keyword research for your Kindle ebook is a bit different from doing keyword research for your blog posts because they have different desired results. When you're doing keyword research for your blog and your blog posts, you want to be found by people who are searching in search engines, particularly Google. Their intent varies. They could be searching for information or images or videos or even news items. Google tries to predict it based on historical data from its users, but it's anyone's guess. By contrast, when you're doing keyword research on Amazon, you're getting into the mindset of people who are searching for specific products, in your case, ebooks, with the intent to buy. For this reason, it's even more important that your ebook is one of the first things that they see. This is where keyword research comes in. The goal here is to find the words and phrases that potential buyers are likely to type in the search bar so that you can target those words and make sure that your ebook is there on the search results page, ready for the target audience to click and buy. Some tools that you can use for keyword research include Suvo and Amazon Keyword Tool. Make sure that you have seven or more keywords after your research is done because you'll use them in a later step. Writing your ebook is the most important step of this entire process. After all, you can't make money from an ebook that you just haven't written yet. And depending on how much you like writing, this part is either the easiest or the most difficult step. Discussing this in detail would require a whole different article, but here are the essential things to remember when you're writing. When you start your writing process, outline what you want to cover and in what order so that you don't miss out on critical information that your readers need to know, and also so that you can cut out whatever isn't essential. It also helps you figure out the flow of your writing and how you want to transition from one topic or subtopic to another. You want everything to be smooth and seamless, without abrupt endings or awkward starts. Your readers also want to experience the same smooth flow when they're reading, and they want to know all the topics they can expect to be covered with just a glance at your table of contents. Thus, take the time to carefully outline and divide your content into chapters. Your ebook shouldn't be a waste of space. Everything you write in your ebook must have a purpose. It must add something to your readers' lives and make them better. But value doesn't rest in the quality of your content, but it's also how you deliver it. If your sentence structure is terrible or if your writing is full of spelling and grammatical errors, the value of your ebook is lost. Hire a proofreader or editor to ensure the quality of your work, even if you're confident about your language skills. An outsider can possibly catch errors that you didn't even know were there. When you're deep in the writing process, it's easy to get lost in all of the researching and structuring your content that you forget that you're writing to a specific target audience. The key to getting noticed by your target audience is to write your ebook for them. Speak their language, acknowledge their concerns, and address them directly. It may help if you think of a specific person and write to that person. Because this is your first impression your readers will have of your ebook, you'll want to give these two the utmost consideration. Your ebook title should be catchy and your ebook cover should be visually appealing to command the attention while staying relevant to the contents of your ebook. You don't want to come off as misleading, so take your target audience into consideration here. Make sure to use words, fonts, colors, and graphics that are appropriate to your target audience. To be on the safe side, it's probably best to hire a graphic designer to create your ebook cover. Now you can set up an Amazon KDP account. This is a pretty simple thing to do on the Amazon KDP page. You'll need to create an Amazon account if you don't already have one. 
You can then get your requirements together and upload your ebook. Here's a list of what you'll need to be able to upload your ebook in the KDP platform. Your ebook manuscript in DOCX, EPUB, or MOBI format, ebook cover in JPEG format, Amazon book page with keywords, title, and description, categories at least up to two, and your price. So what is KDP? Amazon KDP means Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing. It is Amazon's in-house publishing platform, and it is used by authors and publishers who wish to publish their books directly on Kindle. KDP requires you to fulfill a few details before you upload your book on their platform. Making money from Kindle publishing, just like any other business, takes tons of hard work, practice, and patience. But when you succeed, the benefits are far greater than just your royalties. Self-publishing makes you a better writer, a better marketer, and an authority in your niche. Take care of the following points when you start your book for KDP. First, divide your ebook into chapters and subchapters if necessary. Aim for quality in your writing, not only just getting published. Keep your target readers in your view while writing. Keep your ebook cover visually appealing to attract readers, and your cover should not be misleading. Let's see what requirements you need to fulfill to get your book published on KDP. KDP requires your manuscript to be in DOCX, EPUB, or MOBI format. The cover of your book should be in JPEG format. You need to provide keywords, a title, and your description. You should provide the category that you wish to enlist your ebook in. There needs to be at least two categories that your book fits in, and you need to also set your price for your book. Knowing how Kindle publishing works and how to do it yourself is half the battle. The other half is actually making money from it. Here are some pointers on how to make money on Kindle publishing. It's a simple numbers game. The more copies of the ebooks that you sell, the more royalties you earn, and the more money that you earn. How many copies you actually sell will highly depend on how well you market and promote your ebook. Doing this gets you in the right mindset and ensures that you're not scrambling to prepare your marketing plan and create the materials that you need to sell your ebook when the ebook is already out in the market. If you already have a blog and mailing list, you already have a head start on your ebook marketing. Write teaser content about your ebook launch and run contests and give away free copies to promote your ebook in PDF or EPUB format. You can also ask your readers who received the free ebook to review your ebook so that reviews on your ebook are available early. However, if you don't have a blog or a mailing list yet, there are other ways to promote your ebook. You can build a landing page for your ebook, even without a blog. Promote your ebook on social media such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or Pinterest, and link to your landing page. Amazon KDP also has some tools to help promote your book within Amazon. Consult this page for a helpful video and links to more information on Amazon promotion strategies and resources. As mentioned earlier, your title and the overall aesthetics of your ebook cover are of the utmost importance to be able to attract the attention of your target audience. First, your title should be marketable. Here are some guidelines on how to know if your title is marketable. Is it easy to remember? Are there any other ebooks or copyrighted material with the same title? Will it resonate with who your ebook is for? Will it be easy for you and your readers to tell other people about it? Does it capture what your readers will get out of reading your ebook? Secondly, the visual design of your ebook cover needs to be compelling and professional looking because the cover is what will catch your target audience's eye and convince them to click to know more. The visual should convey the overall message of the ebook so that potential readers know what to expect and what benefits they can gain all at first glance. It will help if you already have a concept for the cover in mind from the very start. What images or photos you want to show, what font you want to use for your title and the rest of the text, what color scheme you want to use, etc. Then you can design the cover yourself if you have a knack for it, but if not, it's not too difficult to find skilled graphic artists on various freelancing sites. We recommend hiring a graphic artist whose work you actually like. Graphic artists are experts in conveying visual messages, but if you're not a fan of their existing work, you probably won't like the work that they put on your ebook cover. Ask to see your portfolio when you hire one so you know if their work fits your style. You want your ebook to be found by the right audience, 
And one of the things that Amazon search will index is your ebook description. Remember the keyword search mentioned in the previous section. You're going to use them now. Amazon asks for seven keywords that describe your ebook accurately and are applicable to your topic and the contents. Make sure that you use the same keywords in your ebook description in the right context to help Amazon find your ebook. The ebook description is located below the title, price, and the photo of the ebook cover. If you're shopping for the physical books in a bookstore, the text on the back of the cover of a physical book is the closest equivalent of this ebook description. Thus, it is not enough to use the right keywords. The ebook description needs to be well written and convincing enough to make a good impression and assure potential buyers that this ebook was written for them. Make sure that the text here resonates with them. Tell them what your ebook addresses and describe what results they can expect and how their lives will change after reading your ebook. Go through your ebook description with a fine tooth comb. There shouldn't be any glaring spelling or grammatical errors. Better yet, have the editor who worked on your ebook go through your ebook description as well. Study how to format the text in HTML so that you can emphasize words and phrases that you feel should give great importance both by your readers and search engines. Headings as well as bolded and italicized text are especially seen as significant. For your reference, here is a list of HTML tags that are supported by Amazon KDP. Different people will want different formats. The majority will want the Kindle digital format, but there will always be those who prefer to read physical books and those who prefer to listen to audiobooks. You can offer a paperback version on Amazon KDP itself through its paperback beta program, or you can go with another publisher such as CreateSpace to do it. For books in audio format, Audiobook Creation Exchange, also known as ACX, is the recommended platform. You'll select the narrator or producer of the audiobook file, review their work at various steps along the way, and the finished product will be distributed on ACX to audible.com, amazon.com, and iTunes. You can also narrate your ebook yourself, though it is highly recommended that you hire a voice actor to do so. It is worth mentioning that CreateSpace and ACX are both Amazon owned, and thus integrate with Amazon KDP virtually seamlessly. Reviews for ebooks are another huge factor for potential buyers of your ebook in deciding whether or not to buy it. You can also reach out to other bloggers in your niche with whom you already have a relationship and provide them with a free copy of your ebook in exchange for a review. Asking for reviews from family and friends may also work, although they may be biased or too gentle because they want you to be successful. Think carefully about this before you ask your loved ones to review your ebook. When you upload your ebook to Amazon KDP, you'll be asked to choose up to two categories. The official guidelines state that the categories that you choose should be based on the subject matter of your ebook and as accurate and specific as possible. However, if you wrote an ebook in a niche that is extremely popular, you'll have a hard time trying to outrank other books on the first page in a given category. The technique here is to choose less popular categories that are still at least loosely related to your subject matter. This helps your ebook rank better in certain categories and ensures that those who browse these categories see your ebook more easily. The keywords that you submit also pay a factor in which categories and subcategories Amazon will classify your ebook in. So do your keyword research thoroughly so that your keywords are those that people search for. Just like pricing a product, pricing an ebook can be tricky, especially since you're self publishing on Amazon, where prices can fluctuate due to promotions that Amazon runs. There are plenty of factors to consider when pricing your ebook, such as how much value does your ebook provide? How much other ebooks in your categories are priced? How much your target audience can afford? And how much you need to sell, at least for the first few months, to recoup your own cost to produce the ebook. You also want the price to be low enough to attract impulse buyers while not being too low that it gives the impression of being a low quality ebook. You'll need a lot of research to get this right, and you may even need to read about pricing models to get it right. But the ideal price of a Kindle ebook is within the range of 99 cents to 9.99. The good news is that you can always reprice the ebook, especially after you launch it. 
Speaking of launches, some authors launch their ebooks for free with the intent of attracting readers to download it and write plenty of early reviews. That in turn should hypothetically attract other readers when the price of the ebook reverts back to the list price. However, this strategy may backfire as there are very few readers who are motivated to write reviews, and you'll end up having spent a lot of time and effort to launch a free ebook where you don't earn anything in return. If your goal here is to establish yourself as a serious author and drive up sales from the get-go, this is not the best strategy. Thus, it's probably more practical to launch your ebook at a discounted price, but not free, and then bump it up to its actual list price after you've launched it. Again, this is a numbers game. The more ebooks you have out there, the more sales that you could potentially make, and more profit that you can earn from them. Writing multiple books has another advantage for you. The more ebooks that you write, the better you'll get and the more likely you'll write something that will resonate with so many readers and become highly successful. If you chose the right niche, you should have a variety of topics in your niche that you can address and write an ebook about. If one of your ebooks becomes a runway hit, your other ebooks benefit by association, as they'll be displayed on your best selling ebook under More by This Author. One way that you can put out more books is taking your existing ebook and make it the first of a series. Your next book then can be about the same topic but for a narrower audience, such as Chicken Soup for the Soul series, or even a different target audience such as the 4 Hour Work Week series. If you have other subjects that you're passionate about aside from your niche, writing ebooks about them can also earn you money. You can even opt to write them under a pet name if you don't want your blogger identity to be associated with ebooks under an extremely unrelated niche or category. Amazon won't reveal who you actually are and won't connect ebooks under the same Amazon account but with different pen names. For example, if you're a known food blogger with plenty of cookbooks on Amazon, your readers might find it a bit weird if you suddenly wrote an ebook about coding. You may know a lot about coding, or you can actually be a programmer. But because your name is already associated with food blogging, readers might not take you seriously. If you do go this route though, you'll have to build your marketing channels from scratch, which is super hard work. Weigh the pros and cons before you venture out of your niche. Sometimes the money isn't earned from actual sales. Sometimes the money is earned when you turn your readers into your subscribers and eventually into your customers. How can you do this? Links. You can insert links to almost anywhere from your Amazon ebook. Internal links are mainly used to link to different parts of the book from the table of contents, so you can jump to a chapter or section. External links are mainly used to link to the ebook's review page, either on Amazon or Goodreads, which is a review site specifically for books. If your ebook is part of a series, you can also link to the Amazon pages of other books in the series. Amazon allows linking to almost anywhere. These exceptions are links to competitors of Amazon, for obvious reasons. Amazon affiliate links. If you're an Amazon affiliate, you're not allowed to insert affiliate links directly into the ebook. And links to pornographic and offensive pages, as well as those promoting illicit and illegal pages. Again, for obvious reasons. If you have a blog and you're already monetizing it in some way, you can definitely benefit from integrating a little marketing into it. Here are some ways to use links to turn your ebook into an additional marketing tool. Provide a link to your blog. This is best done on an About the Author section at or near the end of your book. If your readers enjoyed reading your ebook, they are likely curious about your other work and are likely to check out your blog. Provide a link to an opt in page for your mailing list. Invite your readers to subscribe to your mailing list so you can promote directly to them. Also remember to link your social media. The more followers means more people to promote your content and your products, service, and affiliates. You can provide a link to related blog posts. This can be done within the text of your book or at the end of a chapter as supplemental information. You can also provide links to your products and service pages. If you're selling products and mention them in your ebook, you can link the product page where your readers can get more information and buy the products. Similarly, if you talked about a particular service in your ebook that you happen to offer, you can link to your service page where they can purchase. But if your ebook is not connected in any way to the products that you're selling or the services you're offering, 
It's better to be on the side of caution and just not link these pages. As we mentioned, Amazon affiliate links aren't allowed, but technically other affiliate links are still allowed. The problem is Amazon might see these affiliate links as links to competitors and reject your ebook as a whole. A more subtle way to do this would be to link to a relevant blog post that contains the affiliate links. Note that the blog post has to be related to the topic of your ebook. Once you have these links in place, the next step is to test these links to see if they're working. The best way to do your testing is on an actual Kindle device, but if you don't have a Kindle, you can use Kindle Preview. Remember to not overdo it. A little self-promotion here and there can be overlooked by a reader, especially if your book is high quality and the benefits of them are huge. But if your ebook is nothing but advertisements, readers will be turned off. Besides, Amazon already has guidelines against ebooks that are primarily written to solicit and to advertise and can reject your ebook for publishing. Remember to keep your links relevant, keep them few, and make sure they work.